Hi, my name is Scott Davis, N3FJP, and in this video we're going to talk about customizing AC logs main form to your preference. Um, now, when we start arranging fields, the first thing you have to do is to set AC log to its default size so it saves everything properly. To do that, uh, there's two things we have to do. First, uh, we'll disable DX spotting by clicking uh, settings. Uh, DX spotting and we'll disable DX spotting and we'll click done and close the band map. Now the AC log is still not full size so when we go to settings um, edit fields displayed position and tab order it lets us know that and, all, and AC log will uh, offer to complete the uh, settings for you to allow access so you click yes uh, your settings are updated and now we'll uh, start AC log back up all right now um, we will go to let, let's say we want to rather than using a generic other field we would like to track the grid in instead so what we want to do is disable the other field and, and then put a grid field in its place. So let's go to settings, edit fields displayed, and now we're in the uh, form that we need to do for this customization. Now um, the main controls that you'll be using here are to make uh, the, the control visible on the main form and will enable repositioning. So for example the date field is visible on the main form. If we click that, oh, the date field is, is gone and it now says disabled at the top. Of course we want the date field so we'll leave that there. But what we want to uh, disappear is the other field. So we're going to make the other field disappear by deselecting visible on the main form and instead we want the grid field so right now grid is disabled and we will click visible on the main form and what happens is all the unused fields are defaulted uh, somewhere in this list area here so um, we have the grid field displayed but it's not where we want it so what we'll do is click enable repositioning of all fields on the main form and now we can move any of the data entry fields around but we have to remember to uncheck this when we're complete so for the moment we'll click done and we'll come up here and click on grid and we can pull it um, wherever we like so we can get it close now if you want to fine-tune it you can right click and you can either enter in discrete coordinates or click up and down and that'll get you uh, as close as you would like to be so uh, that's really all there is to it we'll click done and that's accomplished now there's only um, one more thing to do if you click settings edit field displayed we'll deselect the option to reposition the fields um, but what happens right now is if we tab from the frequency field um, we're all we missed it and we're down in comments so to set the tab order you simply find the uh, grid click on it and we want it to be after frequency so we'll just move it on up until we are after frequency click done now when we tab from the frequency field voila we're in grid so that's uh, that's all there is to that um, a couple other related things to make you aware of if you want the um, list to be smaller you can click settings um, appearance and main list size on form and if uh, you want it smaller right now it's about 55 percent 
Um, so we'll change that to say 45. Now it's smaller and you've got more room to uh, work and set controls any way that you like uh, to take advantage of this additional space. So uh, we'll put it back for now. Settings, appearance, main list size on form and I'll paste back in the original back to where it was and we are good to go. So that in a nutshell is how you can customize the uh, main form and you can move any of these fields anywhere anywhere on the form you like. You, you can't actually change the width of the data entry fields but you can customize them in any other way. You can set whatever order you like and um, uh, place them uh, to any tab order that you like. You can also make the spot last button appear. You'll find that um, at the bottom of the list on settings, <coughs> excuse me, settings, edit field displayed. Um, there's a spot DX button and see I have that enabled and I put it down between the uh, QSL sent received and the time. So that's, uh, that's it for um, customizing the main form. Thanks for watching and 7-3 uh, from Scott and 3FJP. God bless.